No mai ki Kupu Tupu, uh, ko te mei lehana tōku ingwa. Uh, welcome to Kupu Tupu. Uh, Kupu Tupu was kaupapa that arose out of um, an awareness to deepen our understanding uh, of te ao Māori uh, through some significant, well, unpackaging some significant kupu in te reo Māori. Um, we have a few guests with us today. Um, we have Rachel Farero, uh, no mai haere mai. Uh, we have Lynn Lawton uh, and Morgan Allen. Kia ora. Uh, so our kupu for today um, is Tūranga Wai Wai. Uh, that's spelt t u tohu to r a n a w a e w a e. That's T U Macron. Don't forget the Macron. R A N G A W A E W A E. Tūranga Wai Wai. Um, so. Tūranga Wai Wai. Feels aye. like a bit of a mouthful when you spell it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it? it is. It is. It yeah, well? yeah, cheers. Well, the way it rolls. <laughs> yes. It's Tudanga one of the wai easier wai. words to say. Is it? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Ka pai. Um, so let's dive into this. Tūranga Wai Wai. Uh, Tūranga Wai Wai being a, a place to stand, um, a place of belonging, um, a place uh, in which... One resides, a residence, um, or occupies a space, um, a safe space, um, a place that we can call our own. Um, Tūranga Wai Wai. So um, I guess I'll, I'll shoot this over to you, Lynn. Um, and if you could speak to your upbringing um, and how uh, Devonport Te Kapua has become your Tūranga Wai Wai of sorts. So I Right. Yeah, it's a fascinating one for me because when I think of the idea of Tūranga Wai Wai, it has so many different facets. Is it like the place that I was born right. and find as my kind of location of birth or is it where my heart place? Like at the moment, the depot art space is one of my Tūranga Wai Wai because this is where I've been for the last 15 years. It's where I... Uh, I work where my passion, my mm. creativity takes place. And it's also on the North Shore where I've spent the greater part of my life. So in a physical sense, it's a a physical Tūranga Wai Wai. It's also a place which uh, represents my values, the things that are important to me in life. So mm. it's like my mm. soul place as well. Um, so yeah, when I think about Tūranga Wai Wai, it's like a multifaceted place on which I stand, Aye. you know, heart, physical, history, values, yeah, mm. I mean, is that how it works within the the use of the word, Jermaine? Aye, absolutely, I mean, I, when I when I look at Tūranga Wai Wai, um, from a very uniquely Māori perspective, um, there's that uh, immediate um, connection and intimate connection to place and the land has a big part right um, to do with that whenua and um, although I myself have have been based here in Tamaki Makaurau um, for the majority of my life I I, I do consider it um, my tūranga wai wai but also my whenua taurikura um, in the north um, which I also call my Tūranga Wai Wai. So um, there's these different places that connect us to um, the land. And it's interesting also, um, um, there's this sort of uh, universal um, understanding of place. Um, and that's something that um, I actually was speaking to you a little bit earlier. Um, mm. uh, and I was wondering if you could, um, yeah, sort of expand on... Um, sort of other uh, perspectives on um, Tūranga Wai Wai from a, from a, a sort of from the different sort of in cultures that you've right. been involved with yeah. yeah well like I was born in Canada came to New Zealand in the late 40s and it's interesting although I'm very distant from that mm. now mm. some almost 60 years I was listening to some music by Sarah McLaughlin a very well known Canadian uh-huh. singer and as soon as I heard her her voice and her music and her songs about that place it was immediately a, 
a sense of emotional mm. ah, something mm. about that place which was almost undefinable. Right. Even though a long time ago left that place mm. and went back there in, in my 90s and the 90s to think about, is this really where I want to be? And no, I'm really a Kiwi. This is right. my home here. Right. So yeah, I can understand this sort of like, um, the Chinese call it Lao Jia, right. which means the old, it literally means old home. It's like the place where I come from, my ancestors, my family come from, I suppose my Lao Jia or my Turanga Wai Wai would be Toronto, Canada. Oh, mm. good point. So All kind right. of that feeling of feeling like, you know, your Turanga Wai Wai is a, is a place you feel comfortable speaking for, oh, you know, like a, a, if, if you don't feel like you can comfortably oh, speak for that place, then mm. that's not your Turanga Wai Wai. Would oh. that be a fair assumption? Absolutely. I mean, uh, being that, you know, the place that we reside in, you know, um, informs um, us of our experiences. It's a sensory thing. Um, it's about community. It's about whānau. Um, mm. And these are all the sort of the ties um, that hold us to um, mm. uh, the, the, the place that we currently um, uh, live and... Um, experience life's journey. Um, I guess from a from the point of view um, of being able to yeah stand be be confident uh, about um, the place that you reside in. There's certain things that um, um, also sort of bring together and. Um, I guess consolidate um, your understanding of who you are and your identity. Mm. Um, so you know, and and I know that you know for for a lot of uh, Maori in particular, um, the dislocation from um, your Fenua Taurikura mm. or your Tūranga Wai Wai um, has happened as we as we populate you know these urban mm. cities. And you mentioned that mm. because both both. Yourself, Jermaine, you, Rachel, your, your whakapapa comes aye. from the north, right? Aye, mm. aye, tika. But you both live here yeah. in Tamaki Makoto. Aye. I mean, uh, do you consider both those places Tūranga Waiwai for yourself? or? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um, mostly, uh, you know, like Auckland is my base, but obviously when we have whānau gatherings and we get together as a family, we meet up there, like mm. tangis mm. and... Um, uh, family reunions and things like that. We head back to the land, mm. um, to our marae, um, where all of our elders still live, live, mm. and mm. Uh, where we can go back and learn the knowledge of our people, um, our and you know our ancestors, and all of that. So yeah, it's mm. very special. You know, we, we can do that here in Auckland, but mm. oh. it's much nicer to go back mm. Where, mm. where there's other whānau who are like younger than me or my age that live up there that still hold on to the values of the Māori culture oh. and they're still living it. Um, teach the ones like the urban Māori, like myself, um, mm. you know, and keep that connection strong between um, the land and our tūpuna. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it's nice to have both, the best aye. of both worlds. Yeah, aye, yeah. Aye, yeah. Aye. So from a Pākehā yeah. perspective, you know, for me, it seems like what I'm kind of learning here is, you know, Tūranga Waiwai is so much about, like, um, it's about whānau, it's about ties, it's about mm. history, it's about development of mm. things over time, right? Aye, it's, aye. it's not a transitory thing, it's about, it's a thing that grows and develops and becomes richer mm. over time, is that, aye, 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 yes. is that right? Absolutely, mm. yeah. And I think, um, yeah, I, I think the concept of time is is something that, um, yeah, um, that plays a big part in that. In that, you know, you could, although you don't necessarily spend as much time as you would like to, like say, for example, in the north. Mm -hmm. um, when you go back, it's sort of like you've never left, right? Yeah. And I think that's that's some of the. Um, really that gets at the core of um, Tūranga Waiwai. It's a place that you can always come back to and feel at home there. Yeah, the word home Aye. is something that 
comes to me. It's like a home that's very much about here. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and it's all those different components that you mentioned that equal that, that home. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, one thing also to take into consideration is that, um, you know, due to, you know, the complexities of contemporary society, we are constantly moving and um, sort of uprooting ourselves and um, moving, especially in an urban environment, you know, I mean, um, I myself, I've, I've been brought up in West Auckland um, and, you know, the whole thing about you know, having this home, which is the the symbol or you know the shrine of mm. um, of the Fano and um, um, and also you know a, a place of Tūranga Wai Wai. But when you're in an urban environment and you're renting, you know, um, you sort of have to uproot yourself and mm. and then start again, and mm. then you you create. Um, another sort of of, of tūranga wai wai in each because with each place you, you you know you sort of leave a part of yourself um, in that in that place and um, I think and that's you know that's also associated with all the memories and mm. and, and the oh, history yeah. of that place that you spent there and um, mm. uh, for me it's it's you know. It's it's I, I think it's it's got a, has a has a lot to do with with um, the greater isthmus in which you reside, you know you could um, you can move from the west side to the east side or the south side to the north side. It doesn't um, it doesn't really sort of um, hold you to that one space. I mean your your two dollar wai wai is you 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 determine that. Mm you know, as you see fit. Um, and this is something that I'm, I'm starting to sort of um, understand and come to terms with, you know, when, when I'm trying to sort of reconcile, you know, um, what is, you know, what is, what is the role of the person um, in their own tūranga wai wai, you know, what, what, what is the role, you know, how how do we participate mm. in um, keeping that um, keeping that um, true and 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 real? Yeah, the thing I'm, I'm thinking about now, which I think is really interesting, is it's like you're describing a sense of relationship, aye, aye, tika. which I think I'm really intrigued by because, like you know, that I think is so uh, a much more positive way to think about how you exist in the world and where you are because suddenly it's creating this sense of relationship and caring and respect and mm. understanding like mm. those mm. seems like those values are kind of intrinsically placed Aye. within the concept of Turanga Wai Wai mm. as mm. opposed to just feeling like well this is the place where I'm comfortable this is where I relax Aye. that's a bit more one-sided if you just think True. about it in yeah. that way isn't it it's like this is what this place provides for me mm. but it's mm. not necessarily about what you it's not about you giving back into that that cycle, if oh, you will. You know. Yeah. So, Morgan, where would you see your, or how would you see Tuaranga Wai Wai in in your life? Uh, um, well, I've lived in Tamaki, Makoto, most of my life. Mm. So, you know, and I'm for me, I think one place I really, f uh, I probably really find that place to call home is within. Um, uh, the music community in Auckland because mm -hmm. that's somewhere where I spend a lot of time and somewhere that there's a lot of a lot of people and things happening that I, I feel quite strongly about and I'm connected mm. to and I feel like within that collection of people and ideas and places mm. that's somewhere that I feel comfortable and feel at home and feel like mm. I have mm. a voice to speak for mm. um, So therefore people are a big part of how you define your two dollar wai wai, mm. then, right? So yeah, it's yeah. not just place or, or or the location, but it's about um, it's about yeah, people ultimately. Mm. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I guess it is. Once you, I've never really thought about it from that perspective before. But mm. Mm. so previously, yeah. has you know, if we go back say fifty years ago, right. would Tūranga wai wai be more about physical locality, uh, connection? 
because most of our conversation here today has mm. been more on relationship connection, what we feel about experiencing compared to place. Is there right. is there a shift in its meaning yeah, or its uh, um, pointing? Yeah, I, I I I tend to look at. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think much has changed. I think it is a very sort of. Um, I guess it's to almost to be able to, I guess, adapt um, to the changes of of contemporary society, of modern society. Mm. I think um, the word has a lot more weight um, in in the now, um, uh, being that you know it's 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 not only important for Maori, but it is for those um, citizens of Aotearoa, um, hmm. you know, to to be able to call this place their own, because it is. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we, um, we are all collectively, um, you know, we all have our different, the different paths that our lives take us in, but ultimately when it, when it comes down to it, um, land and places is, is a big part of yeah who who we understand ourselves to be. Mm. Right. Land, place, people, spiritual. Aye. Because um, I know that's where I draw a lot of mine from is spiritual. Like, mm. like I said, I don't like um, have a lot of influences in Te Reo and Aye. a lot of the old ways of the culture. Mm. So I draw from. Um, my my stories, my mm. my tupuna, my Morgan and I when we're in the studios and we're making music and I, that's where I what I call my Turanga Wai because that's where my standing is and it was it is within my music and my art and my um, uh, values, like you said, and what mm. I feel I can bring to the community to help broaden, mm. you know. Um, my understanding of the spiritual that relates to the people mm. that makes a better community. So, mm. for me, that's my standpoint. Yeah, and yeah. I don't stand in the Maori culture. It's just my own, um, my own visions and my own understandings of myself. Mm. And mm. like you said, the contemporary influences mm. on the outside mm. and mm. how. Um, I can use that to my, you know, advantage Aye. to um, reach people on a bigger, broader scale to mm. try and um, make our community, help our community be better Aye. for Aye. people, mm. um, the way they respect themselves, look after themselves, respect the, um, then they can learn to respect the land and Aye. connect with the Papatuanuku and Aye. Anginui and um, their spiritual because I think mm. once that's strong, Aye. then they can connect the dots. Mm. Yeah, most definitely. Um, Aye, so that's my kind of standpoint, mm. and mm. I, that's my understanding of Turanga Waiwai at this point in time. Yeah. Mm. Um, and Morgan knows very strongly. We had a conversation the other day. And mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And mm. that's where I feel like my strongest standpoint is. Mm. It's not necessarily up north, back home, um, in Auckland, in my home, but just within myself, oh, mm. um, and that radiates out and you know generates energy that way. Mm. 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 So it has a it has a huge sort of participatory sort of um, aspect to it. It's sort of like a cyclical thing, you know. You um, you 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 give out, you know what you put in essentially mm, yeah. and that's a big part of understanding mm. um tūranga waiwai in, in, in this more holistical sense mm. of things you know it's we're not simply just yeah. you know these um these organisms that are just occupying this the space mm-hmm. in time mm. you know there's so much more to it so many different facets to that that um informs us of a, a, a deeper sort of connection mm. to mm. whenua and the people um, as we've discovered in mm. this corridor today, so um, I think yeah, um, it's even broadened sort of my understanding of Tūranga Waiwai as we sit here and, and, and discuss this now. Is that people are a big part of that, mm-hmm. 
So, yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting conversation to have, I think, as well. It, one reason I'm really, uh, I'm really enjoying having the conversation, learning more about it, is because, you know, as a Pākehā person, I'm, you know, feeling like, you know, New Zealand has, we've got a lot of cultures here now. Right. We've got a lot of different people from different backgrounds. But there mm-hmm. also is a, a, a growing influence of reo in oh. our society at the moment, I feel. Mm. And and I'm um, interacting with Tiao Māori more on a day to day basis, mm, and you know you've got things like Tūranga Waiwai, these ideas, these feelings that, you know, they have their historical grounding, mm. and you know words change over time in all cultures and mm. all languages. Mm. Words and things change, and so. Oh. That's your. Oh. It's a good tune. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that's do you mind, part of do you mind if I stop why, why, is our is our connection Sorry. today with one another through the digital? Oh, you know, true. so I mean, yeah, like, uh, this is that's part right. of the. Yeah. 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 This is what happens. Well, this this people I'm talking about going from the past to what's happening now and things changing. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, thinking about, um, you know, what what are these words going to mean? As time goes on, what do they mean now for a culture that is um, that uh, a multicultural society aye, aye. versus yes. a Maori early colonial society? You yeah. know, mm-hmm. and you know, I myself really, you know, am very aware that I don't want to make any claims about what that sort of means. It's not my place to say that, you know. Yeah. But um, I feel like I do. Um, it is okay for me to engage in that dialogue and ask mm. those questions mm. and think about how do we collectively, as these ideas are being shared and and and, and are becoming more part of our day to day lives, you know, yeah. how do we reconcile those two things, you know? Mm. 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 I, I think in a, in a even, yeah, I mean, um, something that Lynn brought up um, was the idea of. Um, Tūranga Waiwai in a digital sort of space, Aye. you know, yeah. you know, it's um, as as we see, you know, um, there is a there is a lot to be said for um, the digital landscape of things and where you know where people establish themselves in these sorts of um, uh, so called communities. Um, yeah, on digital platforms. You well, you've got the whole idea, digital community, online community. Yeah. I mean, that is kind of like a conflict of what community yeah. might mean. Yeah, but absolutely, then again, yes. Yeah. Ideas, yeah, sharing ideas. Mm, 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 aye. Yeah. And would I be, if I said, like, whenua is aye. very much to do with the physical land. Aye, it aye. doesn't have that relational heart sense that Tūranga Waiwai does. Tūranga Waiwai can speak about the physical place, Aye. but it's far more extensive or expansive beyond that. Whereas, Aye. and I suppose Tūranga Waiwai would embrace whenua, Aye. Aye. but whenua would not necessarily embrace Tūranga Waiwai, or maybe it does. Yeah, well, I, 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 I feel, yeah, um, in a big way, they both, they both relate to each other. Yeah, yeah right. very, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, what are your whakaro on that, right, Rachel? Um, they, I just think that they're connected. Mm. Like, everything is connected. Right, <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. That's why no, you're right. As we're talking, it's Aye. really hard to just kind of decipher, decipher everything and put it up, separate everything, but actually everything is... Mm. Of the whole, yeah, Aye. as one. So ah, yes. mm. that's why we can just say wherever we think Tūranga Waiwai stands for us is because you can. Yeah, Aye. Aye. yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Finua will mm. always um, be a big part of even with those with Fakapapa Papa Maori um, sort of have their ties. You know, mm. to the Fenua. Fenua will always be a, be a big, big part of that. You know, even despite the you know the modern changes of um, the technical, technological, technological sort of changes um, of contemporary society, land will always remain. You know, there's that there's that really um, important um, whakatauki, You know, fatu fatu ngaro te tangata toi tu te Fenua. You know, um, people. Uh, are transient beings, 
um, temporal in nature, but whenua will always remain. Mm. Whenua will always be present. So um, I guess on that, um, we could tie this this kaupapa together. Mm. I just want to um, thank our panel today, Lynn, Rachel, Morgan, Tina Koto, uh, Tina Tato. Uh, that was Kuputupu for today and make sure uh, to come back and check us out and continue this conversation. Tēnā tātou katoa.